Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Um, how is your faith? Are you confident in it? Are you able to tell others about it? You know, we have those those days where we feel super confident and we can tell others about how Jesus is working in our lives. But then there's other days where, well, we get nervous and we start to go, well, you know, I don't know if I can really tell this person about how I feel about God and how God's working in my life. And and we get this weirdness going on up in our heads, right? And, and we get nervous and we can't do it. And in the New Testament, uh, Philip is walking down the road one day and he he gets this message from God. He hears God say, hey man, I want you to go down this road, the desert road. It, it leads from Jerusalem to Gaza. I want you to go that way today. And Philip's like, what in the world? That's the weirdest thing, but okay. And he goes off down the desert road. And as he's walking, there is this uh, Ethiopian eunuch in a chariot. And he had gone to Jerusalem to worship and he's got the book of Isaiah and he's reading it, but he doesn't really understand it. And in the passage that he's reading, the Isaiah prophet is talking about Jesus prophesying about him coming in the future. And as he's reading it, Philip walks up to him and says, hey man, how you doing? He says, hey, can, can you tell me what this means? Because I'm having trouble figuring it out. And Philip says, boom, it's talking about Jesus, the Messiah, Nazareth, Bethlehem, Jerusalem, crucified, raised from the dead, blah, 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 right? And tells him the whole story. And this eunuch is like, awesome, great news. How can I accept Christ as my savior right now? And Philip goes, hey man, you want to get baptized? And they go to, and they get baptized, right? It's amazing what God can do when we listen to what he says to us. Hey, go down the desert road. That's the weirdest thing ever. Hey, man, go over to your neighbor's house and talk to him today about what? I have no idea. But guess what? God's going to work it. God's going to open up a door. The Spirit of God is going to work and things are going to happen. When you go to work, pray that God will open a door. When you go to school, pray that God will open a door. In your own home, pray that God will open a door. And he does. It is amazing how many times if we pray that prayer, the door opens and all of a sudden we're given this awesome opportunity to share the life-giving love that Jesus brought to us through his death on the cross. So as we go through these days, may we put aside that weirdness, that fear, right, that can overcome us when we feel like we should talk to somebody about what Jesus has done for us in our lives so that they can come into this amazing relationship with a loving God. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.